Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to see how to install FIM for BeagleBone AI. First we have to download the latest firmware for BeagleBone AI. I am downloading OS for onboard eMMC because eMMC are faster than micro SD cards. The BeagleBone AI which I am using has 16 GB eMMC. Just download the OS, the firmware file which is around 1 GB and after copying it to SD card it extracts up to 5.7 GB. Next we have to download and install Bellina Etcher. First we have to locate the firmware file. Next we have to select the target device on which these files are going to be flashed. So for now I am just using a 16 GB micro SD card so I will select the 16 GB micro SD card in this section and the final step is to click the flash button. The setup will first format the SD card and it will start flashing our SD card and that might take up to 20 minutes. In the meanwhile you can go to the internet and see there are various resources available for BeagleBone AI. The flashing process will take up to 10 to 20 minutes and then we have a validation process which will check whether the firmware file is properly loaded or not. Once the process is complete, safely remove the device and don't worry if Windows is unable to read your SD card. BeagleBone can handle it easily. We have to insert the SD card to BeagleBone and power it on or just press the power key if your BeagleBone is in standby mode. Now we have to patiently wait. Within 5 minutes the LED will start chasing itself like this. This means the OS is being copied or maybe it's flashing on eMMC and we don't have to do anything. Once the process is finished, the BeagleBone AI will automatically shut down. Now you have to restart the BeagleBone. I am connecting the BeagleBone to my computer and uh, power seems to be sufficient. Well, it's not sufficient but still uh, my BeagleBone is, works fine. The BeagleBone will detect has a removable device and you can click the HTML file to open the getting started page. From that you can get the IP address to access your BeagleBone via Cloud9. Generally the IP address will be uh, 192.168.7.2. For the first time it might take some time and after that you are good to go. Make sure you have connected your BeagleBone with internet or else you won't be able to run a sudo apt get update slash upgrade commands. Simply connect ethernet with DHCP enabled. You can also use Wi-Fi. I have also attached a link in the description uh, explaining how to connect BeagleBone with the Wi-Fi. The first thing we have to perform is to run these two commands sudo apt get update and it won't take much it will just take some hardly two to three minutes and after that we have to run another command which is sudo apt get upgrade so this one might take up to 20 minutes based on your internet connectivity because it downloads approximately 500 megabits of files megabytes of files and uh, it extracts and installs it so once this upgrade process is complete you are good to go. If you like my video, like, share and subscribe. 